<laughs> At some fucking point, you gotta have some integrity. Like, man, you shit with this soldier boy shit. I'm sick of this dumb shit. <laughs> I mean, every right 10 then, seconds. I, I, I mean, no, I understand. I don't think you're a businessman. You don't want to need money and money for them. I wouldn't even want to, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even want to deal with this coup. I wouldn't even give these niggas no attention. Who gives a fuck they want to fight? Go fight. <laughs> but I mean, you know, that's this, this what's wrong. Yeah. These niggas will put all their attention to this dumb shit. I mean, now you come together, you get Tyson to train them, you get everybody together for the nigga shit. Well, when we say, let's get everybody together and stop this bullshit, let's, let's get this school reopened. They closed our 12 schools. Hey, man, they ain't my spur. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I why I be like, man, fuck all these niggas. I mean, I ain't mad at them niggas for getting this much, but I be kind of that. Out here doing this goofy shit, then when somebody calls you on it, oh, yeah, that's why he always going at he he person every time he get he go at Kevin Durant, goddamn Stephen A. I'm like, dog, how many times you gonna keep going at Kevin Durant for? He ain't finna give you no fucking I'm, interview. I'm but once again, I told you, all niggas got to do the humbleness, motherfucker, and it start with LeBron. All the phone got to do is say, you know what? We're going to get this nigga back in on. We're going to free this nigga ass out. He ain't do no motherfucking school. Because that's what he do. He didn't get cool with all these niggas and he got dirt on them and he basically was doing motherfuckers. That's when he jumped on that truck with the way. He don't want me to really tell what's going on. What the fuck that means? You going to tell him, you going to tell some bitch he fucking on live TV because he 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 not want to agree with your story? Fuck out here! I'm saying I can't. You can't have no nigga around like that. But niggas is like your husband, you know. One for them be forgetting where they used to be at. The brothers put you where you was at. You was just a little rookie as a poor for a local ass Philadelphia. Yep. I was the man you did. He had to deal with you. He could have said fuck off, cool. That's what I'm saying. Like. <laughs> All your sources is niggas who didn't trust that they dancing with you. Now you want to get, now you so big, when the ratings go down, you want to come with the bullshit. Oh, yeah, you know, they, they, they once the then they try to act like the Undisputed Show didn't affect them. Like, oh, no, we still number one. I'm like, you only number one because y'all got more publications. Y'all just out there, but ain't nobody watching y'all like that no more. <laughs> Everybody watching Skip and Shut It. <laughs> that's just all to it. That's the gist. That's the show. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the show is all on the street. Everybody over there is corn. All the show is corn. Let me be an old last week. I really got that one. I think it was y'all from the first week. They made me read two books. <laughs> I read two whole books, nigga, being 500 pages. Because ESPN fucked me, bored the shit out of me Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> they got too many shows and I told somebody that before I'm like man y'all got way too many shows they finally it ain't the, I mean it's the shows but they got cool they, that's what I'm saying they like okay this ain't Stuart Scott this ain't Scott Van Pelt this ain't Rich Eisen this ain't Mr. Berman you know these guys had skills like all of them guys have their own personality and form they just driving any Joe Small off the street to report, and they're off the court. I mean, Marcellus Wiley was cool as a player, but he ain't even corny either. And they got no, they got the same format. They got a bitch and two dudes. You got first bitch and two dudes. You got his and hers. That's about the only original show. Now they about to be on Sports Center. That's why they had to promote them. They're like, man, we got to get somebody here with some post you know? Yep, and I don't know why they be hating on sister so much. I'm like, I don't see nothing wrong with her. Oh, she need to lose weight. I'm like, she need to lose weight? I'm like, y'all don't say nothing about nobody else. I don't see nothing wrong with Janelle here. Because she don't act like no white bitch. Like, she don't act like no white bitch. She don't act like no white bitch. She don't act like no white bitch. You know, Stephen A. 
don't hate Nas being dead. Man. I know what it be. I know what this shit be. See, he, I know what a bitch says, nigga, like him be him. He be thinking he's full of, his, his ego is just way out of control. And he really just thinks he's running the network now. Like, you know, since he's a big guy, and I'm like, dude, they marketing you because they ain't got nobody left. That's the only thing keeping you, but show, with the show, the show sucks. <laughs> I mean, you're just yep. the best of the worst. He's just the best of the worst. It's like, Max, Max don't help the show. And it's like, the ranch is just staged as hell. It's, the other guy that come on there, that other white boy, he's fucking terrible. Yeah, I think Kane. his name is Will something. Will Kane, yeah. 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 They I'm auditioned like, him out terrible. on the show. He was there one time, and they was like, it didn't work. But at least he was yeah. had some fire in him, you know. He gonna go back at Stephen A. Cause he just. But I'm like, now it look like he but, yelling for no reason. I mean, it don't even look like he's the lead of the, the BS he's saying. But if you really listen to Will Kane, he ain't over the crazy ass stuff. He a cowboy stand, and he may try to use the same format. But I'm like, skip that personality. And keep putting these people on here with no personality. Then yeah. Ronnie looked good. Some about sports, they don't let them, let them get a chance. Like Joy, she yeah. plays sports in college, so I'm like, yeah, wow, I'm she saying, actually plays that's sports. What, that's what I'm saying. If they want, you got a dumbass show with a fucking Hispanic and his daddy on there. You can have Jamel Hill, Carrie Champion, and say they can have a lady, a lady show. I'm like, why does everybody like this show? Brother be making it work. I'm like, brother, make this show work, man. I was like, he he be in there like, look, I gotta make it work. No, he ain't got no damn choice. You don't like the show because he has. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got no choice. He got to make You're right. The people that do like the show, I just thought about it. They do get hot. So yeah. <laughs> trying to get Boomer out of there. I was like, he was the only one holding on because Boomer like, I ain't trying to retire. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, yeah, but, we gotta I get mean, Boomer, we gotta get younger. Boomer, Boomer. Yeah, he needs to go, man, because it was looking ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. They have some, the lineup is so cool. I mean, I, I, I'm glad Randy got a job, but 
who the fuck is Trent Dilfer? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Since he had that one sound bite, he didn't got a job off that. I mean, but they put him around the lineup. I mean, I don't really like them, but okay, Bradshaw got credibility. Boomer Sison, dude. Straight hand, Jimmy Johnson. They ain't got him on a bunch of cool. They be having real hard link on the paper. <laughs> yeah, Stacy do talk like he was averaging thirty five yeah. a game. You listen to Stacy King. I'm like Stacy King. Dog, did you you ain't yeah. never start a game in your life that I can recall? <laughs> no, he had a good college career, then he got to the league and got fat. Yeah. The only reason he stayed, only reason he stayed with the Bulls as long as he did, because he was the team barber. Yeah. That's the only thing kept him there. They cut that motherfucker like whoop after that first three games. It's just Scott Williams' I was like, man. I was like, uh, no, when he was talking, like, yeah, he always hang on to that playoffs game that when they won the second championship when Mike was when Mike was broke that game and then the bench came in there and they went on a run. That was like that was the only time you ever had any success in a game. You always bringing up that one game. <laughs> yep, I'm like he was. Only time you saw Stacey King, he was always talking on camera. On the bench. Yeah. In the championship yeah. videos. Yeah, that's what dreams yeah. are made of, Hubie. I'm like, dude, what yeah. if you, you ain't did nothing. That's why, that's why it's ridiculous for them to treat Jordan the way they do. That ain't even balls are average Jordan. Like, yeah. Yep. Kendall Gilder. Kendall Gilder. All he announced over there was some balls. The rest of the motherfuckers are both. Yep. Stacey King ain't gonna say nothing against the company. He is a big company man. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> we need to go in another direction. They need to do for a line, though. 
it's time to go. Why wait this far? Why wait this far? <laughs> oh man, that's because Kendall you know, go. I'm man. like Kendall. I'm like I'm like I get Kendall credit. I'm like he played on the team. He actually was on the court playing. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's I was what like, y'all don't understand. I was like, Stacy King, Stacy King was never involved in these type of situations. <laughs> they don't understand. That's what the Bulls employ. They, they employ good boys. They, they employ people that's dependent on them. Randy Brown's bankrupt. That's why they brought him back. They know he ain't gonna take that bad against the organization. <laughs> he gonna have to mop floors. He stayed in this championship way. He had to punish. Yep. So yeah, he ain't getting to them forever. They ain't gonna keep my ass the same way. He'll be on that bitch for years. I ain't gonna say about the bad about those fellas. If it is, I ain't seen none. <laughs> 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 yeah, but Pete just got married. Made married that Asian chick, man. Yeah. I mean, I ain't, I ain't married. Yeah, Pete, Pete, a good guy, man. Yeah, I, 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 I like Pete. Yeah, but he was with Golden State. Him and uh, Steph Curry got real tight. He was working with them, and he used to always work with Steph. And then uh, he got close with him, and he he didn't like what they did with Mark Jackson. And I knew it was a matter of time for they got Pete up out of there. So <laughs> Pete ended up coming back to Chicago. So oh yeah, once they um once they fired um once they fired him, it was like okay, we can get our homies back. She kids want to put that shit. He wants to be home. Yeah. Like, I ain't going to just keep going to this around here because she's pissed you like them. This is what I'm trying to do. He's going to get the hell out. This is why kids have to go. Because Pace couldn't pull that bull shit out of him. He was like, nah, I ain't down there, girl. You bring him as there if you want. That's why you always heard him talking that shit. And that's why I'm in Van Dookie. Got Cal Corbin, and everybody, hey man, now that's a yeah. fix. How you gonna get him for Dunn Levy? This dude, on, he just coming off a of second back surgery. He ain't really played in two years. Yeah. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I know. That's why I know the ball is fully fit. I'm like, man, LeBron making moves. Hey, he out here making moves. Yeah, that's because the league I'm... out there making moves for him. He telling the league what he want. Look, I want a point guard. <laughs> Well, he doing something now. It's Jimmy's team now. I'm going to tell that motherfucker like what you just said. Hey, 
like they never knew him, man. I knew he was not stupid. Yeah, cause, yeah, he over there trying to deflect questions. No one ain't gonna talk about the boat. I was like, <laughs> Shad ain't gonna talk about that. Do you think if Beckham would have caught the, uh, had a buck eighty five, the game would have been the same? Yeah, the game would have went different. <laughs> He's like the game yeah, would have yeah, been a lot different. Game. That's he, why I had to tell his career work because he he just needed to start fucking Aaron Rodgers. I'm like, yeah, hey, y'all weren't playing that. The majority of the first half, I'm like, he got the lucky ass hell man he passed. Like, man, the Giants had them under control. That's why I ain't worried about it. Because we got the nigga game first. We got off the street from the top. He was busting their ass last time we played. Yeah, that's what Skip is like. Wow, I can't believe this kind of talk. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but, I, but I understand it. I mean, they was like, y'all didn't let Aaron Rodgers get hot. And when Aaron Rodgers get hot, he put up 30s. It's like, wow, I guess we just didn't play them this year. <laughs> they was, yeah, y'all caught them early, but now they grooving. They got Cook on fire. They got this guy on fire. I'm like, okay, so you think Zeke wouldn't have got a yard with these motherfuckers dinners? And I'm like, dude, that's why they ain't got no running game. They don't have to stack the box to stop Zeke, and they still ain't gonna stop. Like, we ain't worried about that bullshit. We gonna run a couple of them down, man. Cool. We gonna run them back to you. Like, they perfect for us. I just want to play the Giants because the shit was personal. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. This is better. This, I was like, I like oh, yeah, this. I like okay, this better. Okay. <laughs> Yep, cause yeah. I'm like they done. The whole city done dumped on them. Yeah, the boat and what happened seven days ago ain't got nothing to do with what happened today. Yeah, right. <laughs> Y'all gonna go out on a boat trip? Then they gonna come out the day of the game. That's what Skip said. I was more concerned about what they did, like yeah, the day of the out, game. They came out with their shorts on before the game. Yeah, yeah doing <laughs> dumb stuff. Yeah, they putting they stuff on Snapchat and doing all that garbage. Yeah. They was like, dog, you supposed to be trying to stay warm. What you doing? But <laughs> what I don't understand is you do all this shit for attention, and then when the shit don't go your way, then you want to act like the bitch time I get the cameras out my face. You bringing the cameras, bitch? Yup, you don't want to put it on social media that you even was at the club yeah. on a boat. It's like, just like that. Yeah. I'm like, dude. You want to punch the wall? You did that shit for a time. Yep. Like, man, cut them damn Goldilocks off and put some pants on you. Man up, motherfucker. I'm mad at the boat. I'm mad at the boat because you're supposed to be the veteran. Yep. There's no order around here no more. Yeah, you didn't let this. I'm like, you didn't let the young boy lead you. Yeah, exactly. It's like, man, that when mom came. Yeah, he was killing, but it was order. Chris Carter had to respect to the locker room. It was Eddie. So, Chris Carter, so there was no football going to go slap a bitch to do me. He respected Chris Carter. Ain't no order around here. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's why I'm like, well, this, I was like, they just put an end to this who's better, him or the freak. I don't like freak when they drop no balls like that ever. I was like, ain't no way. <laughs> you can see freak out there dropping balls left and right. And then I was, they was like, no, you was cold. Because you would sit out there and came out there with your shirt off. And then when the game started, you was like, man, this is colder than I imagined. <laughs> man, I don't want to hear none of that. He live in New York. It's cold in New York. Ain't, ain't trying to hear none of that. Yep. And then he out there, yeah, trying to be he man, trying to be tough. Like he trying to prove something. It's like, dude, you a wide receiver. You ain't tough. <laughs> Your job is to catch the ball. <laughs> but he was like, as soon as he missed that first catch and he dropped that first one, he was like, yeah, that boat trip was floating. Yeah, that mentally, he's like, mentally, that boat trip was all in his head. He was over there looking at his gloves all mad. He was like, yep. He was, like, he was mentally on that boat trip because he knew if we don't win this game, that's all we finna hear about is this boat trip. 
<laughs> yeah, and that's what they said. You brought all this and uh, talking about some yeah, this thing was end up being a distraction. That's right. You brought it up. <laughs> the media didn't dig up nothing on you. You the one put this on social media. So you created the distraction. See, one thing that's what I'm trying to tell you. If they won the game, it would have been no problem. Yeah. When Snapchat with Beaver, he wants the attention. All of them, till it don't go that way. Then it's the world against him. It's that the That's why I'm like, man, these niggas are slamming and disgusting. They truly do. Yeah, it disgusts, it disgusts everybody because it's like, man, y'all got more opportunity. Y'all make ten times more than the people who was out here killing themselves to play. And I'm like, man, the people that made this game something for y'all to even be able to come in. And y'all getting multi-millions of dollars. And like Shannon said, dog, you could have waited another week. <laughs> y'all was going to be done and lost the game. You could have went and kicked it. Y'all off to April. You could have been in Miami on a yacht to April. <laughs> when OTC he started off. You couldn't wait a week. <laughs> you can't wait till the season over. I mean, the NFL got the longest out of everybody. The NFL has the longest break than anybody in any sport. They are from January to like November. <laughs> they 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 basically in the summer they go to OTC camp or whatever, but they got they they off for months. <laughs> so I'm like, though you got plenty of time to go get on a boat <laughs> and kick it with all the celebrity friends you got. You got the whole summer off, and this is when athletes get in trouble because they got so much of a long break. <laughs> but I'm like, though. You just wanted some extra attention. That's all it was. But, but like Shannon Shaw said, it's the Giants' fault too. Because they was like, y'all let him go off the team bus and go on his own to go do all this craziness. But you know how that goes. Stop playing through your He's just the cool. That's his own Yeah. You know, Dan will be beyond and them. Had special treatment. They was out partying all night, but when it was time to perform, it was time to perform. And he's light-skinned. Yeah, these mice, they ain't children. They just talk a lot. That's what happened in the days. That's what I'm saying. Another guy was going to talk about, man, look at T.O., though. T.O. was the same way. He, he was a problem. Yeah, T.O. was putting up numbers. I was like, man, look, T.O. played. And I was like, dog, look at him, man. Like they said, he led the league in drops. I'm like, look, I saw the show, too. And I was like, y'all forget he had a broken hand. He played with a broken hand that season. Nah, nah. With maybe a playoff game where he, where he had a game where he had 17 yards. Exactly. Like 160 yards in the Super Bowl. But he just came up with a broke tackle. Stop playing, man. Right? You ain't nothing. Yeah, that's that's the so shit. social that's media. And I'm that's social media, and that's what social media do. They take a flash in the pants of person and put them up there with people that have been doing this for years. I'm like, dog, he's played four and years, and this going, is this was to, his first playoff game. Yeah, that's why I'm disappointed in you. Right. You're taking this role player that they, you taking this role player that they try to make so bad to be a superstar, and he all of a sudden better than Rose, and then he better than Joy from. Ooh, Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler. He's the best two-way player in the league next to Kawhi Leonard. They one and two. What you talking about? <laughs> what you, yo, y'all thinking with Jimmy Butler? I don't know what it is, but Butler has improved dramatically. He plays both sides of the ball. He guards the best players in the league, and he putting up twenty-five points a game. What do you want for more from that man? <laughs> <laughs> the paper was real disrespectful. I was like, man, I didn't know how disrespectful it was until I read it. <laughs> they act like Derrick Rose was just a bum. Yeah, that's how I was looking at it like Joker. Man, freak. Terrible. 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 Terrible.
That's how I knew Jimmy Butler took over the city. I when I went to the movies and I was like, wait, that's Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler's in the movie. Ah, like, what is he doing in this movie? He in that office Christmas party. Playing Jimmy Butler. And I was like, Jimmy Butler is in a movie. I was like, oh, he didn't really took the city over. They didn't gave him the keys. Well, he's marketable. He did roles in one of the camera like that. You want to go shoot things from the phone. And, you know, he had to keep him quiet because he can't talk. Jimmy Butler can talk. And Wade and Trey. That's how you get interviewed. He's red. Ain't that nothing against Jimmy Butler. Well, he ain't fighting. He ain't with. <laughs> I tell you that. I trade him for fighters. I mean, he got damn day of the week. Now, you don't trade Jimmy. He's a game changer. If they tell me they gonna give me Jabari Parker for Jimmy Butler, his bag is packed. And if they tell me that I can get Jabari Green, Parker's a street baller, man. <laughs> what is you talking about? I mean, he's great you entertainment, know, but he's a street baller, man. You, you talking about what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the business. He put on Butler the three times they didn't play. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, like look, damn. Butler like tried his best, man. I mean, the guy's young, he's athletic. <laughs> you know, they 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 play a great game when they run it. I mean, people don't give uh, TP his credit, but he's great when he's running the point. And I was like, when he's out there, he was like, I didn't know he was still in the lead. I was like, Jason Terry, when Jason Terry's out there running the point, he know how to set people up. And, and I was like, Shoot, they play. They got a great system of playing together. They jail together real yeah. fast. Yeah, I'm playing with you. That's right, and that's with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing with you. You definitely got to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> they can play. He was dunking in the, he, he was dunking in the layup line, looking at looking at Butler, and I'm like, yeah, easy night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was. Again, huh? Yeah, it was two embarrassing nights. I mean, they cannot be yeah. Milwaukee. I don't know what it is. I just told you what it is. <laughs> they ain't catch no answer for Blake Willie. <laughs> they, they way more boys with him. Got nothing to answer. They freaking like making this shit out of here. Oh man, Jabari was banging that motherfucker Butler. This stuff that's too easy. Too easy. <laughs> we don't want to play no more. We don't want to play no more. <laughs> See, they blew them. They blew them in about thirty points back to back games. Like even close. <laughs> Jabari over there talking. Jabari over there talking to people on the sidelines. Like this is my show. I ran shit here. You just playing over here. <laughs> <laughs>